Gao Yang Gongzhu, the Princess Gao Yang, lived in early Tang Dynasty. In existing records, we can't find information about her name, birthday, and biological mother. So we guess she may be born by a little rank consort. Gao Yang was one of Tang Taizong's favorite daughters, so she was spoiled. When Gao Yang grew up, for political considerations, Tang Taizong arranged for her a marriage with Fang Xuanling's second son, Fang Yiai. Sooner after her marriage, Fang Xuanling passed away. Gao Yang asked Tang Taizong to allow Fang Yiai replace his brother, Fang Yizhi, to inherit Fang Xuanling's noble titles and eyesight. This obeyed the law and the traditions, so Tang Taizong refused. This was the first time she didn't get what she wanted from her father. So Gao Yang was really angry. Later, Gao Yang fell in love with a monk called Bian Ji. To keep Fang Yiai's mouth closed, Gao Yang gave her husband two concubines. So, in a long time, no one knew the relationship between Gao Yang and Bian Ji. One day, police officers catch a chief who stolen a valuable jade pillow. From the style of the pillow, people know the pillow was belong to royal family. But the chef said he stolen it from a monk. Then the relationship between Gao Yang and Bian Ji was discovered. Up on getting the news, Tang Taizong was furious and killed Bian Ji and many close servants of Gao Yang. From this point, Gao Yang started to hate his father. When Tang Taizong passed away, Gao Yang didn't feel a little sad. In 653, Tang Gaozhong already became emperor for four years. Gao Yang falsely accused Fang Yizhi. She hoped her brother Tang Gaozhong punished Fang Yizhi. So, Fang Xuanling's noble titles and assets could be transferred to her husband. Unfortunately, this time, Zhang Shun Wu Ji investigated her case. Zhang Shun Wu Ji discovered Gao Yang and her husband were secretly supporting Prince Jing to prepare rebellion. After further investigation, other three royal families, over a thousand people, were involved. Gao Yang was forced to suicide. Her husband was publicly killed. Although Fang Yizhi was innocent, but in ancient time, when close family members were involved in rebellion, all clan might be punished. So Fang Yizhi lost all his titles and was demoted to average people. Yong Tai Gongzhu, the princess Yong Tai was called Li Xianhui. She was the granddaughter of Wu Zetian. When she was a kid, her father Tang Zhongzhong was banished and lived in Fang Zhou. Every day, her family faced the death threat from Wu Zetian, so we can believe she didn't have a happy childhood. In 698, Wu Zetian allowed Zhong Zhong and his family to come back to the capital and, pro and promoted Zhong Zhong to crown prince. One year later, Wu Zetian promoted Yong Tai to Jun Zhu, a noble title for prince daughter, and arranged for her a marriage with Wu Yanji, who was Wu Zetian's grandnephew. Although in political battles, 
Li family and Wu family are upset. This new couple had a great relationship. At that time, Wu Zetian had two male concubines, Wu Zhang Yizhi and Zhang Changzhong, who were brothers. Zhang brothers had really bad reputations. In 701, Yong Tai was pregnant. One day, Yong Tai, Wu Yanji, and Yong Tai's older brother, Li Chongrun, privately told about Zhang brothers' wrongdoings. Unfortunately, their personal conversations were known by Zhang brothers. They discovered to Wu Zetian, there wasn't records about what Zhang brothers said, but after Wu Zetian heard their words, she was furious and forced Wu Yanji and Li Chongren to suicide. At this point, Yong Tai was near the due day. After she got the news, she was scared and suffered a difficult labor. The next day, poor princess passed away. Nine years later, Zhong Zhong became the emperor. He still remembered his beloved son and daughter. He paused promoted Yong Tai to princess and built a grand tomb for her. He also promoted the standards of Yong Tai's tomb to Ling. In ancient China, only the tomb of the emperor and the empress could be called the Ling. So, in whole Chinese country, Yong Tai was the only princess who was buried in Ling. Yong Tai's tomb was discovered in 1960. It was located in Xianyang, Shanxi province, China. Inside the tomb, there were extremely wall paintings. The most famous one was called the Jiu Gong Nu, Nine Maids. If you have a chance, highly recommend you personally watch them. Gu Lun Rongshou Gongzhu, the Princess Rongshou of the first rank, was the last princess recorded in official history documents. Princess Rongso wasn't the daughter of emperor. She was the daughter of Prince Gong of the first rank. After the Emperor Xianfeng passed away, Princess Gong helped two empress daughters get the political power back from the eight minister regions. To show appreciation, Cixi adopted Princess Gong's daughter and unusually promoted her to the first rank princess. When Rongshou was 12 years old, Cixi chose Ri Zhiduan as her husband. Zhiduan was from a high rank noble family. His father's wife also was a first rank princess. Unfortunately, Zhi Duan wasn't healthy. He passed away five years after they married. So, when 17 years old, Rong Shou became a widow. Even worse, started from Ming Dynasty, princess wasn't allowed to remarry. So, Cixi asked the Rong Shou came back to the inner court. Cixi really trusted her and treated the Rong Shou as her biological daughter. Rong Shou rarely gave advice to Cixi. What she said, most of the time, Cixi accepted her idea. Rong Shou didn't like luxury clothes and decorations. But Cixi liked. So when Cixi met Rongshou, she didn't wear her favorite clothes. Princess Rongshou also gave many help to Emperor Guangxu. For example, 
after the Hundred Days Reform lost, Cixi planned to kill the Emperor Guangxu. Princess Rongzhou entreated Cixi to forgive him, so Cixi changed her mind and home arrested Guangxu in Yingtai. In 1908, Cixi passed away. Princess Rongzhou left the Forbidden City and lived alone until she passed away in 1924. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.